guys, it's me. Now, normally, after a Town Direct, well, I would do a blind live reaction to it. However, for some weird reason, the footage that, you know, the live footage for it was completely unusable for some reason. Because I was doing it, and then at the last second, the program froze, making the whole thing completely worthless. Because it just, it made the sound so buggy. So I can't use it. So I have to resort to something like this. One of those normal things. Which stinks. Okay, uh... I got a little of the details of the, the recent town direct, so I might as well give my thoughts. To be honest, the, the direct itself, only just a small chunk of it that I usually care about. So, just, just let you know, it's a small bit of it that I care about. So, uh, first thing. Uh, Fire the new Fire Emblem for 3DS. Uh, what I thought about it, it was that um, it looked very similar to Awakening in terms of style. Like, of, uh, you know, how some of the, you know, uh, artwork goes. A lot of the 3D models are more the same. Although, they did mention that it is from the same team that made it. So, it looks like the exact same team that made it. So, that, uh, there's, there's no title about it. It just says, oh, it exists. What I really liked about it was the transitions it gave. Like, a lot of the transitions between, like, Overworld and then ba the battle. I like the how they did the transition. It's actually much better than Awakening. So, it's actually much smoother. Uh, other than that, I can't really say for sure. Will I get it? Probably. But, I don't know. Uh, the thing about a unique Asian-based atmosphere. I don't know what that means, but... Yeah. This is a unique nice atmosphere. Kind of weird how that weird long blue-haired girl... I mean, the blue, the long blue-haired girl... I don't know if she's going to be the main protagonist. Since uh, a lot of the main character, Well... Every main character, I think nearly every main character of Fire Emblem series are blue to some extent. I don't know about Leaf though, but who cares about Leaf? I mean, he's not even on uh, North America, so how, how, what would I care? But the majority of the protagonists are blue, and a lot of the characters shown on that um, the trailer are wearing red. So, uh, it's probably that blue hair girl, that's probably the main big deal. Mm. Uh, I have seen... There were a lot of other stuff like um, the pair-up system. I did see that for, for a little bit, although it didn't really show that much of it. So uh, it's probably basically the same, more marriage stuff. Who knows? Uh, next up, Puzzle and Dragon Z and Puzzle and Dragon's Mario Bros. Edition. Okay. I mean, I've I seen a little bit of it on a Game Explain video for a, a Japanese version of it. But to be honest, I don't really care. It's It's kind of odd. But, um, it's like a puzzle RPG that, you know, you can recruit a lot of the, 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 the enemies you fight, which is pretty neat, I guess, but, eh. Uh, also kind of a, um, Pokemon version of it, like, a slight Pokemon version of it, but I didn't really care that much about it at all. A lot of the, um, the sprites of it are pretty neat, but not, the game itself I don't really care about, so I'll just skip that. Uh, both of the Puzzle Little Dragons thing are going to be combined into one game, which I guess is a good thing. I mean, if you want to play the Mario Bros. Edition, you just have to buy the, the Z Edition. It's fine. Alright. Next up, uh, blah, blah, blah. This Pokemon Shuffle thing will be able for free in the shop, which I don't care about. Uh, blah. Let's see here. There's some, some Mega Evolutions going on. I saw, like, Mega Kangaskhan. I said, oh, it, it's, it's, a me it's a broken Pokemon, but then again... Small and really likes banning Pokemon, so. Uh, you know what, you guys, why don't we just. Oh, sorry. A little chest pain there. Uh, why don't you just, like, divide the OU tier into, like, high OU and, lo and like, low OU? Because, like, a lot of Pokemon that aren't the most powerful by themselves, like, OU, like, high OU is meant to be Pokemon that can take a team by itself. But. I don't know, I need to just buy the OU tier, because, like, I don't think Greninja is that good, even with Gunshot. Because, yes, Gunshot takes out Blissey, yes, Gunshot takes out Sylvia and Florgus, but there's still ways to get around it. So, I don't think, so I don't think it's that good. Besides, Florgus, I think Florgus can learn Psychic, so it's so probably, 
you know, I not, did not anticipate Greninja using Gunk Shot so you saw the super effective damage. But that's not, but that's not important. Um, what's next? Oh, that was in Wii games. That pissed me off. Because, um, what pissed me off, well, not, oh, that's the second thing, second thing that pissed me off was the fact that, let me get this straight. This is why I said, this is why I said, like, um, while, while doing the live reaction. So, NES, SNES, GBA for some weird reason, and now Wii. Just skip a few generations to the Wii. Where's GameCube? Where is GameCube? Are you, are you secretly planning to re-release GameCube games in HD like you did with, uh, Wind Waker? Like, Melee HD, Double Dash HD, F-Zero GX HD? <laughs> or, um... I don't know, Pikmin 1 and 2 HD, <laughs> HD? That would be really neat though. Uh, really? And the only show is Mario Galaxy 2, Punch-Out Wii, and Metroid Prime Trilogy. Okay, Metroid Prime Trilogy, okay. Um, cause when I, when I, when I heard, when I, when I seen Metroid Prime Trilogy, I was thinking, huh, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, isn't it like, like Xenoblade levels of, of costs? Cause it says, I think it was like oh, it was GameStop exclusive as well, just like Xenoblade. I don't know how I don't know how much is, how much uh, Amazon's going it for, but must be pretty must be was pretty huge. Punch Out, okay. I'm I'm saying okay because like Punch Out, and then Mario Galaxy Two, which my all over the the um the the live reaction, I was thinking why not Mario Galaxy One? Isn't like the like, like the didn't people like Mario Galaxy One more than two? Because of the actual story elements to it. Um, and also what, what actually made me laugh is that uh, they said later on that um, you get to buy, yes, you can buy the three when they're released. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is actually out, supposedly out now. However, if you wait a week, it'll actually be half price. Actually, I should probably check how much it's worth now. It's probably worth like, what are we against worth? 50 bucks? So... And half price probably be like forty bucks. Eh, I don't really care. Um, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, don't care. Uh, they talk about all the amiibo things, how they work, which is eh. I'm not, I'm not gonna buy the game anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, they put February twentieth on a lot of things, like February twentieth and February thirteenth on a lot of dates. Um. I think they say something about May too. I don't know. They say a lot of things about May. Uh, but whatever. Uh, next thing they show was um, Amiibos, like the next Amiibo wave. I don't remember right about all of them, but uh, I think I remember was um, Robin, Lucina, Pac-Man, Ness, Charizard, and I think there was one other, but I don't remember what it was because I didn't really want it. But. Uh, what the, and then late, later on they showed Codename Steam and how the Amiibos of the Fire Emblem characters will get um will get to have their uses. Um, when I first when I when I first thought they, cause they showed the the Codename Steam thing late much later. Uh, they showed the Lucina Amiibo and I was, I was thinking to myself, WTF? Why the heck are you showing Lucina? Because uh, like I was certain that they were, they're gonna start do with all the starter characters first and just them first. And after the starter characters are done, you go to the unlockables. But no, they had Lucina right off the bat. How are they on the show Codename Steam that, yes, the Lucina people will have a use on Codename Steam? So, okay, that is, and then I guess, okay, that makes sense then. I mean, at least they gave a good, legit reason why they had Lucina Amiibo earlier than the others. Uh, which of the Amiibos do I want? None of them. Because I'm, I'm still waiting for Pit, no, no, Dark Pit and Olimar. Cause uh, I do, cause for my amiibo connection, I just want the eight. I just want the, I want enough for an eight-player smash. I just, want, I want the four I have, which is um, Link, Wii Fit, Trainer, Zelda, and Pit. Uh, get my Shulk, get a Shulk amiibo from the pre-order. See if I can find a Rosalina amiibo once it hits actual stores and not, you know, wasting way too much money for pre-orders. Cause I think Target really wants to have it, have it shelved, have some Rosalina amiibo shelved. I mean, that's why they they're canceling pre-orders left and right. Uh, and then, uh, Dark Pit and Omar. So, just those, just those eight. Uh, 
I guess it's kind of neat that they have the Pac-Man Amiibo. Sorry, let me just get a little burp going on. At least I good thing they have the Pac-Man Amiibo ready to go, because they already have Sonic and Mega Man. Uh, next is one. Well, this is one. What my brother's waiting for. Because um, when I was showing my brother a long time, a few months ago, about you know what the Amiibo are. He showed me, oh, is Ness available right now? Wait, wait, is there a Ness Amiibo? And I said, no, not yet. Even though Ness and Charizard were already, like, shown as the, the figure players in um, a Smash thing. So they had Ness and Charizard Amiibo already ready to go, even though it wasn't ready. Even though it wasn't, you know, avail uh, re re revealed, my bad. So at least Ness is now there. Which I guess, yes, fine. Uh... Next thing they showed more media so non Smash Amiibo, which will work in Mario Party 10. Um, they are, if, it, if I remember right, it was uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, and Toad. And as in the while I was doing the reaction, as they were you know showing what when uh, non Smash Amiibo say, oh, we're gonna have a Super Mario collection of Amiibos. The first thing is say, Daisy, 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 no Daisy. That was um my my proper reaction. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because the footage is unusable. Uh, I was ten thousand to Daisy, um, and the only non non Smash related one was Toad. Uh, they said that um the the non the not Toad amiibo is going will can work with Smash Brothers. However, they will also work with Mario Party Ten for the amiibo party. So. Regular party, Basel party, and then the Amiibo party. And you say that, um, the, oh, right, the last, the other Amiibo I was, was Wario, because, um, they were mentioning the Wario Amiibo. In that, um, they, uh, the other Amiibo party, however, all the Smash Bros. Amiibo, the Smash Bros. Amiibo for, um, uh, you know, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, um, then they show Rosalina, DK, and Wario. The what um, since Rosalina and DK and Wario aren't in um are on the uh, the Meeps, the Mario series collection, uh, they can use for Mario Party 10's uh, Amiibo Party mode, which I guess is fine. How the only one out of those I have is Rosalina. Well, I don't have any of them right now. Uh, part of Rosalina. And so anyway, um, and same the Toad one work with Captain Toad as like um hide and seek levels, which is fine. I forgot which game they said it from. Yeah, I forgot which game they said it, but uh, there's um, I think it was a Mario Party 10 or some other game uh, that uh, uh, it, you have to erase data from Smash Brothers in order to make it work. I think it was I think it was Mario Party 10, yeah. So let's say I have a uh, Mario Amiibo. You cannot use uh, the the Mario figure player and thing in Mario Party 10 at the same time. So you have to you know delete the Smash data. Which I guess is fine because at least they gave you one more game that actually that happening, so it's fine. And yes, there's a Wario amiibo, so there you go. But I don't really care. I don't want Wario amiibo. Uh, the um, the amiibo each amiibo will also unlock a certain board. For example, Mario does much. Luigi does the uh, Poltergeist. Poltergust. I Man, whatever. Um, give me Splatoon for now. Uh. There's, um, wait, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I don't care about, uh, I was just bored in this whole entire thing, although they show when they show the player character's face, uh, the, the customizable player character's face on that, uh, little trailer, I laughed because it was so butt ugly. Um, uh, Marvel's Donkey Kong thing, what, what I like about the Marvel's Donkey Kong thing, um, is that if you get the Wii U or the 3DS version, you can actually get, um, a free code to get the other, which is awesome. If they did it for everything else already. Because, like, what. It's like, what takes me off is that for some games, like Pirate's Curse, once you get. If you get one game, you can't get the other for free, which is pretty lame. But, uh, for this one, I think there's one other game, a squid, another squid game, uh, that if you get one version, you get the other for free. Which is good! Which is, I like that stuff. If only they do it for everything else! Because that would be great! Um, uh, what else? I'm, sk I'm skipping Hyrule Wars, you don't want to talk about it later. Um, Mars is Donkey Kong, you can do, uh, you know, Mars is Donkey Kong, you can do, uh, 
create levels, show the people, and something about stars, and you can, the, the game's called Tipping Stars, so it's, let's say if someone likes it so much, you can tip, tip some stars, kind of like, um, I don't know, like a, like a, like a restaurant or something. I, I said Kickstarter, but I don't think it's like, really like Kickstarter. It's like tipping stars for you to make a good level. Whatever. Uh, what else? Uh, something from Namco. By the way, the guy who was, you know, I forgot what his name was, like, Harada, I think? That, uh, that guy? If you, if you saw that guy's face and they were doing the part of the treasure or whatever, he kind of looks like Japanese Robert Downey Jr. Don't you think? He kind of looks like Japanese Robert Downey Jr. Because <laughs> I was thinking, that's the, the one thing in my mind when I was, uh, you know, uh, looking, uh, uh, watching that. This look as Japanese Robert Downey Jr. It might be Japanese Iron Man. Uh, but I didn't really understood what you just what we just said. Oh, this part of the treasure. Oh, the this is a game that we're gonna do that does this and that. But we're not gonna tell you anything else about it. So we're not gonna tell you the name. We're not gonna tell you when it's gonna be there. Uh, just and it's gonna be free to play, which may or may not be a good idea. I don't know. Could be a good game. If it is a good game, neat. Um, something called Black. I don't know what that is. Moving on. Sentence of Earth. Oh, that's a weird one. You are the Vice President of Earth. The Vice President of Earth. Great. Now I'm reminding you of that stupid freaking show. Stupid freaking show that I watched as a kid called Something About a Martian. Something about the, Mar the Buttery Martians, I think. So, uh, so stupid. Next. Gun Cloud, Gunman Cloud 2. Don't care. Moon Chronicles. Don't care. Sega 3D Classes. Don't care. Um, Story of Seasons. Basically Harvest Moon. Although they never play Harvest Moon. Um uh, Tell about Codename Steam. Again, I don't care. Oh, what I like about Codename Steam is that um if you pre-order Codename Steam from GameStop, of course, you can get a uh um, Joyce Mask pin, which is actually pretty neat. <laughs> I kinda I kinda like that idea. It's like for those Majora's Mask collectors, you gotta get Codename Steam and get it from GameStop, of course. It's funny. It, it's really funny. Um, let's see, Ace Combat, don't care. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles port, don't care. Uh, according to, it's developed by people who um, ported uh, Dungeon Country Returns, which now that I think about it, actually makes sense. I mean, Far Heart they did a pretty good job doing um, DKCR 3D. So I guess, it, I guess it makes logical sense. Like, cause since the supposed because um, Mon is working on this big game, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which I'm not getting because I don't like Xenoblade's gameplay. Um, it makes sense for, for the guys who made DKCR 3D to make uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. It's logic. Uh, stuff about uh, Majora's Mask 3D with, um, I can't tell you, but not yet. Uh, okay, so that's, I guess that's that about, um, the boring stuff, and now the fun stuff, and yes, the fun stuff. Okay, so uh, first things first of the fun stuff. The new 3DS has finally decided to show up, except only the XL version. Why only the XL version? I mean, there are people, there should be people that prefer the smaller 3DS than the 3DS XL. But the only reason why I have the regular 3DS and not the XL because I bought the that I bought the the non-XL first. And as I have to get the, X, the XL. But why why limit people to the, the XL? Because people have giant hands? Because I like to actually put my 3DS in my pocket. And granted, uh, I can do have big pockets. I like putting my 3DS in my pocket. You know, having to, you know, uh, walk around sort of thing. But with the, the, the XL, it's, they're kind of big for a pocket. Because I, I don't know, I just I prefer it to stick in my pocket. So I don't want to worry about, you know, a giant block thing sticking out of my pocket. But then, I, I, but again, if it were me, I'd probably pick the XL version anyway. So <laughs> it doesn't really affect me that much. But then again, the face plates, man. The face plates. Come on now. Imagine someone made a custom face plate Gardevoir. Or freaking Ivysaur. But, um... I'd take that. 
Uh, but what I didn't like about it is that it's only available in black, which is probably the obvious choice. Because, you know, black Wii U, black 3DS, black um, Pro Controller, black Classic Controller. Or red, which is weird because, like, the Japanese, like, had blue, but now we're getting, now the US, I think Europe too, I don't know. Again, red, not blue, which is pretty stupid because I don't like red. Uh, lame. Although, Monster Hunter. Okay, uh, Monster Hunter. And so, uh, something we know about Monster Hunter, no, the online co-op, we know that. Uh, there's going to be a, uh, Monster Hunter puzzle swap, to which my reaction will be like, uh, more street pass, because, um, I have completed, like, getting a lot of the, uh, the regular pieces, like, using play coins of, of, of all the puzzles, so I'm missing a few, missing a few of the, um, what was that panel? It was, um, not the, not the Sonic Boom one, and it was, like, not the, um, not the NES Remix one, it's, like, the one, one before the NES Remix one, I forget what it, what it was, uh, I'm missing a few of the, the Street Pass exclusive ones. Uh, but then I have, then I have a Monster Hunter one, which is pretty neat. Um, there's a Monster Hunter for an ultimate demo, which it itself has online multiplayer, which... No, seriously, it blew the freak out of my mind. It blew my mind. Because a demo would have online multiplayer. That's actually freaking amazing. Worth it. Just to imagine this. I don't know how it'll work. Because, you know, they didn't show what the demo what it looks like, but imagine me doing online for Monster Hunter 4, the demo. It's like having the demo and then continue on with the full game. That would be really neat. Oh, then again, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter matches do, do take quite a long time and sometimes my, cam sometimes my camera does like end the audio prematurely for no reason, which does me a part of a new camera. I also need a new laptop too, so I'm gonna need one of those laptops because that laptop is, is acting weird. It's like acting like, it's acting like it's age. Because I got my laptop in 2009, in like mid-2009, it's already 2015. So, I'm going to need a new laptop. It's almost inevitable at this point. But I don't have the money for it. Sucks. Uh, now, before I talk about the, the cool thing uh, I, I think about, about MH4U, um, Majora's Mask 3D will come on February 13th, which the game explained guys are correct. In that, and this, they're going to release on the same date as B. It's going to be a bundle. Speaking of bundles, the freaking Monster Hunter bundle looks amazing. It's not red. It's not black. It's not Zelda. Well, not Zelda related. Not Zelda herself. If Zelda herself, probably. But if it's about Zelda related, the Majora's Mask thing, and like um the the, the other transmission masks. No, but the the other Hunter one, cause um it's white. It's like no, it's not white. It's silver. It's like it's the silvery color. I take a silver colored um, 3D uh, new 3DS XL, not <coughs> not a brand new not new 3DS XL. For, serious Nintendo. Seriously, uh, I'd probably take that or that or wait until it's a really an interesting looking one else comes up. However, more promotional stuff doesn't usually come up until way later. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get Pokemon Z or whatever one, because probably can feature Zygarde or whatever. Uh, that's pretty Oh, yeah. And that's also it comes with the uh, 4 gigabyte micro SD, which I actually prepared ahead of time because uh, I bought, I got my, uh, my uh, 3DS. I think from right, is a 32 gig, uh, 32 gig micro SD. Am I right? So, yeah, I got 32 gig micro SD for my 3DS when that show when that happened so i'm all set with that so i'm gonna buy, buy when i buy a lot of games digitally i'm gonna i'm gonna be prepared um they say the cost is gonna be 199 dollars okay 200 dollars coming on february 13th i think the only one i'm gonna care about is the um monster Hunter one so probably gonna pre-order one gamestop of course uh yeah because apparently you can only pre-order the thing in gamestop i wa i wonder if I go to GameStop right now, and if I ask if, if I could pre-order that, pre-order the Monster Hunter 4 uh, new 3DS XL, I won't be surprised if it's already sold out. <sighs> Friggin' GameStop. 
Okay, um, next stop is, uh, well, next to last is uh, Hyrule Warriors. The Majora's Mask uh, DLC for uh, Hyrule Warriors. Uh, they're going to show the new character of Young Link. And from what I've seen a bit of him, he seems to act like a lot, he hits slower than Link. Or maybe just me. That um, Young Link hits a bit slower than Link. And I think one of his um, special moves is to turn into Fierce Deity Link and hit from there. Which is, like, awesome. Like, Fierce Deity Link is finally in Smash Brothers. Too bad it's not a freaking skin for Link. That would be pretty neat. Um, I guess it's fine. It, it's just no big deal. Uh, also, they give, like, three, um, three like, costumes for certain characters. And one obviously looks like it's going to be Sheik. One obviously looks like it's going to be um, Impa. And the other is kind of unknown, and I can't even tell. But it's definitely Skull Kid related. Because definitely has, has that Skull Kid um, outfit. But I don't know what's going to be for, so... I don't know, it's probably going to be... F Who do I think it's going to be for? It's a tall kid, it can't be Young Link. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's probably for Lana, for all that. You know, oh no, I was surprised, oh, I was surprised if it's for Volga. <laughs> if it's for Volga, I would laugh. I would, I would laugh. It was for Volga, the Skull Kid out. It's Richard, Richard, Richard Volga wearing a Skull Kid mask. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. And that other thing from Majora's Mask DLC. That other thing. The, okay. Here's, here's like a semi-accurate, um, like, like a, a semi-accurate, um, demonstration of what happened with the other... Majora's Smash DLC thing come up. So I had Ivy Sword on my head, right? I, I, I was planning to have Ivy Sword on my head this whole time during the, the recording, right? And then uh, when the thing showed up, I was like, oh, uh, I think I something else. I, I threw Ivy Sword and then just like, I, yeah. I face pumped so hard, threw Ivy Sword in my bed. And just like, like this the whole time, until like until they say Young Link. So that was pretty much my reaction to that other thing. So I'm not gonna talk more about that thing because it's that thing. Uh, if I'm not missing anything, oh this whole, oh uh, an FPS and 3D apps, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I guess the last thing I might like to say is um, Splatoon. Splatoon, man. It's the thing. It's, it's the game. Three Splatoon is the game. Because um, if I were to buy one game through all of spring, it's that. It's Splatoon. Even even, even more so than um, the uh, new 3DS itself. Splatoon's the game. Because, well, first of all, there's a central hub. kind of looks like Paris. Because yeah, there's a lot, a lot of shops in there and the Latin Green Apple Tower thing. Neat. Um, lots of customization, lots and lots of customization. Different hats, different shirts, different shoes, different skin color, which I see, gladly appreciate. To which my reaction was, I wonder what Black Nerd thinks about it. Since your, your angle can be black, which is, which is neat. Which is pretty tiny. Um, and you can also shoot uh, different kinds of weapons. Turns out the role of thing is actually one of your main weapons. Along with the sniper rifle and the regular gun, um, you get like a um, wall, like a ink walls. You get ma, you get grenades. Um, just do stuff that's already been shown, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, and it's also uh, Inklings will look like will be in the in the plaza from if you go from Miiverse. Uh, some similar to Nintendo Land, which actually is also pretty neat too. So it gives us a little a little community uh, uh, over there while you're playing Splatoon, just like Nintendo Land. Which I actually gladly appreciate. It's it's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, that's it. I don't think that there's anything else I need to mention. Uh, oh yeah, the February update for for Smash 3DS will have new functionality. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Uh, th new new 3DS XL only apparently. Will not have AC adapters, but I have. I think I still have my my DS one. I don't know. I can, I'll check. I still have it. Um, oh, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, there's one thing in, in, in the direct I completely missed while doing the um, the, the live action. 
while I was doing library, I actually missed one important detail. And uh, once I heard that, that detail, though I heard a bit of that detail, I, I was like, I got shocked. It's like, I was like whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? Because they're talking about coding Steam. They're talking about coding Steam and the Fire Emblem characters. They somehow acknowledge that, that the Martha Amiibo is pretty much discontinued pretty much everywhere else. And they say they'll ship more Martha Amiibo. Because like when they first showed Marth as like, a character you can play in battle, my reaction is, yeah, yeah, show Marth, Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah, show Marth, the one that, the one of the quote holy trinity that was pretty much sold out pretty much day one. No, 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 like day one after the rarity became known. Yeah, yeah, show Marth, yeah. But then they said, but then they said, and I missed it, that they're gonna ship more Marth later in the year. Which, um, honestly, Good job! Good job! Can't find a way to get rid of all these scalpers. Which means... Which means I'm gonna ship more villager amiibo. Which means I'm probably gonna shout out to get a villager amiibo. Which means mom won't stop talking about me getting a villager amiibo. Because apparently she likes villager. I don't know why. But I remember we played trainer amiibo up there, so... <laughs> Who cares about that? So... Yes, please do, guys. Please do. Um, okay, now, now for real, that's it for, um, uh, my, uh, you know, recurring th thoughts about this, um, the new, uh, Direct. Too bad I can't show you the, th the whole, the whole live reaction, but it's probably a lot worse than this. So, yeah, see you guys later.